And you managed in Madison Square Garden a lot too in those days. I was in Madison Square Garden. As a matter of fact, if you go to YouTube and you write down uh, Frenchie Martin versus Ultimate Warrior, that's where I broke my collarbone. Oh, do you want to tell us about the Ultimate Warrior and that match specifically? Yeah, well, he was very aggressive, you know, because he felt like nothing hurt him, you know, and he picked me up for a slam and he just dropped me right on my head, you know, and yet they finished the match, you know. Why do you think he died so young? I have no idea. Could it be, uh, you know, I have no idea. Did you only wrestle him the one time? The one time only. So I guess they used you sometimes as a wrestler when they were short? Or... Yeah, they did. I have a match also on YouTube with Coco Beware. There's a few matches, if you look at it, you know. Do you, uh, what do you, what did you prefer better, being a wrestler or a manager? I prefer to be a wrestler. I love wrestling. In those days, well, I guess I shouldn't say it, but uh, there was a lot of guys using the, the stuff, you know. So it was a little bit disgusting to see after the matches are over. The dressing room was full of towels, but a lot of needles everywhere. Naturally, I'm talking about 87, you know. So, uh, yeah, I was a bit deceived, but these guys, they were, and a lot of them were angry, you know, because they were ready to go on anything, you know what I mean? So, I was very careful. <laughs>